Hello friends, this is a video accompaniment to our blog post shown here. This outlines an exercise uh, involving a real-world scenario where Power Pivot and Power Query can, can be used. If you do have training or consulting needs in our Power BI or Power Pivot, click on the information card shown here to contact us and learn more about all that Power Pivot Pro can offer. So in this exercise, well, this was uh, me. I was invited to a beauty pageant and they had, had some problems in the prior year about not being able to easily input scores and it would took too it would take too long to calculate scores and analyze them based on different criteria. Well hey, power pivot to the rescue. So this was the desired results. They wanted to be able to see the ranking, the score by person and the weighted score. Each round had different uh, weightage and of course be able to, to determine the final ranking and this they wanted to be able to do it uh, uh, be able to slice and dice it using multiple criteria by category, by day, by round, by score type, even by judge. So let's look at the tables involved. A simple list of judges, contestants, uh, number name category, different rounds, their weightage, and then the scoring sheets. Here's how it looks like in the data set. And if you link, click on the blog post, you would be able to download this file. All right, so let's look at the tables. We have rounds, judges, contestants, and then the scoring sheets, and they're right here by each judge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Your task is to combine this data, put this into Power Pivot, pull in the tables, define relationships, define DAX measures, and be able to output this result. Now, we'll also publish the solution video, so you can click to watch that. The link be, will be provided uh, in this video. However, I would certainly encourage you to first make a good faith attempt at solving this, especially if you're a beginner user. This is a great way to exercise your Power Pivot and Power Query skills. I'll give you just a few hints to get you started. For one, your number one task would be to get these tables into Power Pivot. To get an Excel table like this into Power Pivot, the easiest option is to go to the Power Pivot menu and say Create Linked Table. In Excel 2013, it's labeled slightly differently. It's called Add to Data Model. So you would do that for your Rounds Table, for your Judges Table, great, Create Linked Table, and for your Contestants as well. Well, how about for the Scoring Sheets? Would you do the same and end up with six of these tables in Power Pivot? Well, probably not. So here, the tool to use is Power Query not only to combine these six or more scoring sheets, but also to possibly transform this data which exists in rows, uh, in separate columns, into rows. That action, by the way, is called unpivot. So get this data over to Power Pivot, and then try to establish relationships and try to define measures which do this calculation. All right, well, good luck. Whether or not you were able to come up with an answer, check out a solution, see how it compares with your approach. La, 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 la.